today we want to have a look at movies, series and YouTube videos and we're going to try and make a distinction or build out a workflow which will allow us to easily filter through different types of videos because I don't think all videos are created the same or have the same purpose. What I mean by this is this video that you're watching now, you, I don't think you're watching for entertainment purposes and you're trying to get something out of it so it's more a a workshop or a study session that you're doing rather than entertainment for entertainment i would think that it is going to netflix and you want to rest your mind you just want to be a potato sit on the couch and vegetate for a couple of minutes so we're going to try and make that distinction so what this would look like is if you just zoom in and let's make our text the sides a little bit bigger to appearance and let's just increase the zoom level that sounds good 120 run on this all right so we are on our daily notes and we have listened to all this podcast and now we just want to vegetate for a little bit we head to youtube we watch a corridor digital youtube video which is a channel that i deem as entertainment and purely entertainment purposes so start as always with a log winners key full stop again if you're mac i'm sorry i can't help you press this little tv so i'm going to use this little tv to indicate that this is either a movie a series or entertainment on youtube so i have vlog do 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 as always we put in the title of the channel that you're watching or if it's a series the name of the series so let's say you're watching game of thrones it would be game of thrones if you were watching a movie it would be the movie let's say you're watching avatar you would have avatar yeah you will probably most of the time not use this note that you are creating here meaning it's there but it's not active you can see it's a little bit grayed out just like the tim ferris podcast is grayed out that just leaves more opportunity in the future to use this as a data query or in the future that you don't have to go back and try and find all the notes related to corridor digital or to avatar or to tim ferris you already have it there so it's just insurance policy and next you want to say corridor digital and we'll say video on mobile game ads something like that and as always we want the link and url here and then obviously if you want to you can put in some comments think of the link just want to put the hashtag as well so i'm going to go hashtag and i'm going to say entertainment and this is youtube and then lastly let's specify the channel if you want okay so that is one we watch a youtube video next week and we're like okay i'm done with youtube let me watch a netflix episode of something and let's say the new one i'm, I'm watching is lookism and we'll say just started it today so we'll have season one cool. season z one episode zero one and it would say the so season one episode one you want the name of the episode and it's called change and then what i normally like to do is i like but you don't have to season one episode one change i like to put in the imdb link and the way i do that is i just navigate to the intro of web and i go to imdb and then i click on the first episode and then this gives you a breakdown of what happened during that episode cost gives you a couple of pictures and then i take the url and i go back to my obsidian and what i do then is i add that link and yeah so now i'm probably not going to use this ever but i think in some cases i would want to use this and this is more for future purposes so an idea that i came across was when you think about capturing information you need to think about when would this information be valuable when you capture it so let's say i'm capturing this information a log tv a log youtube a log podcast a log entertainment when would i extract value from this information that i'm capturing again would it be in five minutes no would it be in a day no would it be in a week yes a little bit looking back in the week seeing how how many hours you spend consuming podcasts how many hours you spend on youtube also just looking back and seeing cool this is what i learned today and you have a log of things that you consumed when you look at the month would you find value out of logging this today yes because you're going to see 
the bigger picture. You're going to see everything together. When you look back in a year, would you find value? Of course you will. Looking back in 10 years, would you find value? Yes, you will. So when you capture this, it feels like a whole lot of effort and obviously to each his own. For me, I see the value that I can extract from it at the end of every week. And I know value or this type of value that you capture will just accumulate value. It's almost like comp interest. You can't, you can't, uh, measure what you don't have. So with the compound interest, you can see that if you can pay somebody to do this for you, to follow you along like a fly on the wall and just capture all of this information, would you take that? Would you opt into that data? about yourself. A couple of people that I speak to say they wouldn't want that information about themselves. And I think that is where we are a little bit flawed. We are scared to look at our own data. It's the same with finance. We don't want to go look at our finance because we're scared that we're going to find something bad. And that is the mindset that we need to get out of. So how do we get out of it? Well, we capture information and we make it as easy as possible. We have season one, episode one changed and we have that. And now we can comments. So yesterday we said equal sign, equal sign. There, this is a comment. So this is one way to indicate that this is a comment and not just metadata or data about your data or, well, yeah, let's just keep it like that for now. Hi uh, there, this comment. And the way that we want to tag this would be hashtag entertainment and this would be series. I would try and stay away from Netflix or HBO or making that distinction. I know YouTube is kind of making that distinction, but I think YouTube would still be around for quite some time in the future. You can always just uh, do a mass find and replace on YouTube and say video or something like that. If there's another competitor to YouTube that's going to rise in the future, but for series, there's just so many series platforms, you're going to get popped down in detail. So let's just keep it as series. And for this one, it's a type of anime, I would assume. So anime and then Lucasm. If we make an example or how I think about breaking this down, because I haven't figured this out completely yet. I'm just playing around with this hashtag structure. Let's say we watch Game of Thrones. Well, that would be a um, Game of Thrones. And let's just keep that spelling mistake there for a little bit. Entertainment series fantasy. And then it would be Game of Thrones or something like that. So yeah, you need to play around with this. It's going to be a swing and a miss a lot of the time. And if something doesn't work for you, change it. You want to play around with it and see what works for you. If it doesn't work for you, leave it. So now that we have these logs, we know what we want. Let us create an MOC for entertainment, I'm guessing. So entertainment, I'm just going to call it television, MOC. And we go to, let's say the podcast, copy it, television, dream. And here we want entertainment because we know our entertainment for now only has YouTube, Netflix, basically, or HBO series related things. So entertainment. So when you're looking for entertainment, we can go here. We have series, we have YouTube and cool. If we're in the mood for anime or want to see the or look back and try and remember what series that you watch and go to, hey, it was fantasy, Game of Thrones, something like that. So if we go back to our daily notes, this kind of looks good. I like it. Next, what we want to do is we want to create a log so that we don't have to fill in all of this the whole time. So let us go to templates and create, and it's going to be TV, log, TV. We want to point log, do doom, double colon, we're gonna Click the window sign, full stop, TV, and then we're going to have double square brackets for us to put the name of the YouTube channel or the name of the series or the name of the movie in us. And then this is going to be a placeholder, so I don't put this in here, but it would give you an idea of what you need to put in. Name here, and then control K, either have the link or IMDB link. Gonna have the URL in here, and then we want the hashtag entertainment, and let's just keep it as entertainment for now, because we have the distinction. So let's actually make the distinction already after an example. So let's say we just want to create something new. So someone in the comments said we can click Alt E and then we can just switch for TV. So that's automatic. So yeah, it's going to be the URL. So you would go get that from the interop web or a 
Netflix link or a YouTube link. And that's fine. It's fine to say TV series here. Yeah. And we know it's a TV series, so let's call it a series. And it is a horror. And let's say it was written by Stephen King. Yeah, we can't have any spaces, unfortunately. Stephen King. So now we just add it. So we have anime, horror, fantasy. So it's a nice little way to break it up. So if we want to be more specific, meaning we know we're going to have to have a lot of YouTube entries and we're going to have to have a lot of Netflix or series or movies entries. You can obviously just create additional logs. So you go back to log TV. If this one is specifically for TV, I would assume that TV equals series. So this would be more like a series log. And let's just make this oh, okay. Why is it irritating me? And let's just create a new node. Go back to log series. Let's copy this over. Go back to untitled. Let's call this one log YouTube. And then we have this and we just say instead of YouTube, sorry, instead of series, we say YouTube name of video. Yeah. All right. So this works quite well. And I think that is most of it because we have our television MOC. So you can see that you can create different data V queries. So let's just say we want to create a YouTube entertainment list. We paste and then what we're going to do here is we're just going to say entertainment and it's nice from this little right hand side panel on tags and you go to show nested the tags you can see entertainment series youtube cool that is the one that we want so entertainment youtube and now you have a list of all the youtube videos that you watched which is entertainment linked so i want to see if this is lowercase then it does not appear so best practice and uh, first of all the reason why it doesn't not appear when you have this lowercase y is if we go back to, let's just close these logs. If you go back to where you actually information, we have entertainment and this is a capital Y and a capital T. And when you specify it in data v query, Caesars as something different. So you don't need to spell it correctly or have the grammatical exactly the same, grammatical uh, style exactly the same. Or, and this is best practice, you can just put a lower in front of details where details we specified as log. You don't have to stress about what this means. You just need to do it. If you want a lowercase and you don't want to worry about spelling, not spelling up and lowercase, then you just put lower open brackets, details, close brackets, and then you just need to make sure everything that you're trying to look for is lowercase. Because what this does is it takes the lowercase of details, which is our log, a little bit confusing, but just bear with me. And it would take everything within log and make everything lowercase. And then because it made it lowercase, it can go look in the lowercase version of this for entertainment YouTube. And now it should work. Yeah. So now it's just a little bit better structured. Okay. So the video promised a new little super hot tip. And that's when you come in is the log has some limitations, meaning you can't have indented list underneath it. So let's say we watch this Lucasm. Let's say we watch this one. We watch the series for the first time and it has a significant impact. And there's a lot of ideas that's running around your head of, Hey, this relates to my life. Hey, I can come to include, Hey, there's something new I can produce out of this. Hey, this gives me a new idea. Can either just bulk write it afterwards, which you will still have to do, or you can type in this little smaller as sign BR and bigger as sign. So what this does is it specifies, Hey, go to a new line and I'll show you what this, what this means. So this is line one and you do that again. And this is line two and shits and giggles. Let's do one more time line three. So if you go to reading mode, you can see that even though we did not press enter, it specified it as a new row, each of them. So you can see that you can start creating the illusion of lists. What I mean by that is after that, you can say oh, dash, line two, dash, line three, you have this uh, a big improvement. Obviously, you're going to find it quite difficult to do two indents. So it still has limitation of just being able to 
make one indent, unfortunately. But now when we go back to television, we have that. So it just, it, it's a small win. I wouldn't say it is complete game changer, but it definitely helps until there's something better that comes along. So I think we'll stop here. It's really uh, a longer video than what I anticipated. But as always, I hope you guys have a lovely weekend and yeah, so we better right. I think that is all for now. I want to wish all of you a happy weekend and I hope there's going to be a lot of coffee consumption going on. And let's stay active and get that bread. All right, strengthen on it. Bye-bye now.